as a man or woman of God, if you were truly spiritually intelligent, surely you would know that you should be gainfully employed or engage in a business so that you can generate money to take care of your personal needs and that of your family. Area, my people, my people. <laughs> Apostle Eukaria Anunobi, she don't break the remaining leg of table for inside church. <laughs> my people, how we want you this matter? Where am I going to start from? Where am I going to start from with this matter? <laughs> my people, I just put that short one for the beginning for now. Make una wash. <laughs> I go put the full video for the end of this video make una wash apostle you carry the try the advice men of god women of god so many of them when they lazy she don't review their secrets and at the process they advise them she say make them go they walk you cannot depend on just being a pastor alone. You cannot depend on just being a woman of God alone. She said if you depend on that, how you go to take care of your family as a man? Even your church members, when they even need help from you as a leader, how can you support them? Okay, you just only need from them. The only thing we get to the do for them is to pray. You know, go feel support them financially. Like, eh, my people. God said, may we not judge you. But when I listed to waiting this woman, to, because me, I don't really interfere on uh, all these uh, church matters at all. You know, see, I say, for this, my page, or uh, this, my channel, I don't bring uh, things about church to this place because I don't want uh, people to come and. Uh, Rush me. I don't want me to rush me. May they break the leg when they manage they go. But when I saw this video, I saw the real fat on it. I see truth for this video. And I say, I think it is better and it's going to be good for me to bring this video out. For so many people that has not seen it, for them to see and listen themselves to it. My people... Now it make me bring a come out because the thing to make sense. The thing like some pastors, you just see, they will say they don't want to work. Their work is to be inside church. Their work is to do this. We are not judging, you no. Know. But how can you take off your family if you are not working? He say you are not working and you don't have any business. Apostle, you can't, I can't even talk to that extent. See, the successful pastors, so many pastors that is out there, they have business, businesses that they, are run, that they are running outside church matter, outside being an apostle or being a pastor. But if you as a man of God say you don't want to work, you don't want to do this, you just want to be doing that pastor work, how can you take off your family? How can you support your members? How can you even participate in bringing money out? inside your church to do one or two things. My people, make it all bless you to the talk. Una need to listen to her by herself. God bless you all as you are going to watch this video. And I pray, may God grant every one of us our heart desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to share this video for a lot of men of God to see it. And don't forget to like, leave your opinion in the comment section. Follow me on my Facebook page, Jane Gist, and follow me on my YouTube channel, JNG's TV. God bless you all. Watch the full video. Ciao. As a man or woman of God, if you were truly spiritually intelligent, surely you would know that you should be gainfully employed or engage in a business so that you can generate money to take care of your personal needs and that of your family. To be able to give your tithe, redeem your pledges, Sow your first fruit. Sow love seeds. Give seeds. Support other ministries. And do all manners of things concerning the doctrines pertaining to Christianity. And not resort to manipulating the members of your congregation to give you money.
Surely you must have read and you must have heard. And it is written that Apostle Paul was not just a writer, but he was a lawyer and a tent maker, which means in our time he was an architect, which means he was an architect, builder, structural engineer. And most of the mighty men and women of God that exist in our time, surely you know they are business muggles. A word that says enough for the wise. Please get to do something with your hands today. No disrespect. No dishonor. 